Joseph, you welcome to the coffee pot. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. And just when you thought it couldn't get any more blatant and unreal, woman says, if your husband, who you're married to right now, is a good man, divorce him. And the crazy part is the women online agree. Don't believe me? Check it out for yourself. Let's get it. If your husband is a good guy, but you're ready for divorce, you're not a bad person. So don't let guilt get the best of you. You're not doing him any favors by staying. If anything, you're actually gonna start building up resentment. Your relationship doesn't have to be toxic to validate your feelings of wanting to leave. Your relationship doesn't even have to be going bad. It doesn't have to be toxic. It doesn't have to be too hard. You don't need a reason. <laughs> Women initiate divorce at a 70 to 80% rate. And then women are making videos like this that are going viral with a bunch of women that agree with this type of um, frame of thought. Can you blame men for not feeling bad when they see a woman who's single, struggling, for not wanting to um, protect, marry, uh, cohabitate, etc., for claiming that most women today, yes, most women today aren't worth the investment of marriage. Can you blame them when you hear shit like this? Guys, this woman is dead serious. Let's keep watching. Think of it this way. If he's a good guy, he deserves to be happy. That means he deserves to be with somebody who values him and wants him just the way he is. If that's not you, you gotta let him go. He may not see it like this right now, but you're doing both of you a favor. So she's trying to convince women. And by the way, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, we're just getting straight into these comments because some people probably thinking, oh, she's probably just been extreme and women don't actually think this way. Well, think again. I just got this first comment from a woman that says, good guys don't always make good husbands. Here's another comment from another woman that says, I stayed way too long because of this. So she stayed way too long because there was no actual reason to leave. She wasn't happy and that itself was reason enough. Does that sound familiar? Love yourself, know your value, know your worth, and then all of a sudden there's this awakening. Wow. And it's, it's, it's not easy, it's a hard journey, but at the end of the day. Next comment here from another woman says, my relationship was fine, but so mundane. He also did nothing for me. I'm doing so much better separated, it's been six months. Guys, don't skip over this. My relationship was fine. Nothing was actually wrong, but so mundane. She was just bored, so she broke up the family. Now, do you think she let him keep all his shit? Do you think that she didn't put him through the hell of divorce court? I don't know if they had children. I'm assuming they did. But listen, listen to this. It was okay for her to break that man's heart and leave him devastated from the results of divorce simply because she was bored. This is like me getting on this camera on my YouTube channel and saying, guys, cheat on your wife if it makes you happy. Cheat on your girl if it makes you happy. You should cheat. Cheat on her. I'm not, I'm not don't, don't break up with her first to, to, to soften the blow. If it makes you happy, cheat on her. Because life is about happiness right make sure you cheat on her preferably with her best friend creates doesn't matter if she's a good woman if she's um kind to you she's feminine submissive dog her out that sounds crazy but this all of a sudden doesn't why because we live in a gynocentric society female centered society whatever is right for women isn't frowned upon whatever makes women happy is okay but if a man decides to set up his life so that he's effing a bunch of women over, including women who may not deserve it, now he's deemed as evil, toxic, misogynistic, etc. This, no, this isn't misandry. I she got another comment here from another woman that says, left after 24 years, he was a good guy and that made it hard to leave. She goes on to say, I'm so glad I finally told him that me being happy was the reason enough. Here comes the happiness reason that Tia Mary excuse for her leaving her marriage. If you guys don't know who she is, the video that was just played, Tia Mary is an American actress. Being unhappy, she says, was reason enough, right? Was reason enough. Next comment from another woman who says, been trying to tell him that. 
So this is uh, an ex-husband she's talking about here. Maybe she did already initiate the divorce or she's still thinking about it. Another woman here says, the guilt is driving me nuts. So here's a woman who did initiate it and she feels guilty. Why? Because he did absolutely nothing wrong. Women today, there are women today, which let me not even make it sound like they're far and few between. These are the majority of women out here today. They think like this. It's why, it's why channels like this are so important, man. It doesn't matter what people may say about um, videos that may highlight unflattering truths about female nature. They don't want you to know this information. They don't want you to carefully vet out women. And this is especially dangerous for men who still see value in settling down and marrying a woman today. These women exist. The majority of them think like this exactly. Another comment here says, man, I needed to hear this three years ago. Another comment here from another chick says, I started to cry listening to this because I'm in this same situation now. Don't feel bad for her for crying. Remember, she's crying because she feels bad for the good man who she's about to leave, who did absolutely nothing. You may think, well, what's so bad about that? It's because when she got on that platform, on that stage, when she sat up there to, to stand up and, and commit to that man, she lied. <laughs> She lied. She, she, she told a bold-faced lie in front of thousands of people. People showed up, cried for nothing, paid thousands of dollars for that wedding or whatever went into their marriage. And she deceived everybody down to the children and the people who she's going to hurt. She said through sickness and health. She said through, 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 through all the terrible things that may come, I will stay. But did she? If this is the case, then the vows need to be changed. Then we need to add in there, if I'm happy, I can step out. And we also need to add in there because you can't just help the women out. It needs to be, hey, if I, if I want to cheat, I should be able to step out. Yeah, get some new cheeks. Fast, not slow, right? We need to include these um, very realistic um, parts in marriage vows. Here's another comment from another woman that says, it's nice to hear this. So to her, this is music to her ears. She goes on to say, everyone makes me feel like garbage because he didn't cheat or drink. You are, you are, you are. That was a trash move that you did. If you left a man who you committed to and devastated his life, literally, that the, the men leave traumatized from divorce, then yes, that was a bad move on your part. It was a garbage thing to do, in my opinion. So guys, the next video I'm gonna play for you here is a stitched video in response to that lady's video no more wasting time let's get it your husband is a good guy but you're ready for divorce you're not a bad person so don't let where where did all the good men go if you're not happy in your marriage just get a divorce and then go find someone new so you can enjoy some more temporary happiness like this has got to be the worst advice i've ever seen on the internet mm. like i thought marriage was a commitment for nope. better or worse not it's just when you're not happy leave go find someone else mm. and guess what your second marriage and your third marriage by the data says it doesn't get easier actually your chances of divorce go up because you develop a mindset oh well if i'm not happy you know we're not talking about abuse or cheating but if i'm not happy i'm leaving unfortunately man i understand bro i understand what you're i understand what you're trying to say here man there's only one problem they don't drink coffee <laughs> Modern women do not believe in data. They do not believe in the reality of life. They do not believe in facts. They have the nerve to do shit like this, promote this, and end up crying on camera when they can't find anybody. It dawned on me that I'm 46 years old and I don't have a husband to take care of me. But in reality, this is this is my reality. <laughs> this is my reality. Let's get back into it. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with being miserable the rest of your life. But hey, that's what people do, right? That's what we do in 2023. Why even say vows? Because obviously they mean nothing, right? Mm. Like I said in the beginning, where? Where did all the good men go? Where did all the good women go? Do better. Facts. There you guys go. Um... I'm gonna read a few comments here because you know of course some people do drink coffee and disagreed with what that lady had to say let's check out some of those comments here before i conclude this video first comment here says please don't get a divorce because you're bored imagine um 
that being your actual reason. It's you, you being bored and you're just like, oh, let me, let me ruin lives. Let me ruin my kids' lives because kids' lives are affected the most in that type of situation. The children go through a terrible time. Here's another comment from another man who says he deserves to keep his stuff. Yes, if you're just leaving because you're bored and he hasn't done anything wrong, at least let the guy keep his shit. Another comment here from another man says, yeah, to hell with those vows you didn't really intend to keep anyway. Here's another comment from another woman that says, perfect example of couples these days. No one fights anymore and always chase the next thing. Hopefully it's not a woman who's realizing this too late once she made the mistake herself, but hey, maybe she learned, we'll see, I don't know. Here's another comment from a gentleman who says, that's the problem with society today. Even if he's a good guy, they just walk away. Relationships are work, people. Don't commit unless you are in it. Another person here added, or dot, dot, dot. You could work hard together on reconnecting and falling back in love. I don't think it's a matter of love, uh, being in love or not being in love. Love is not enough to keep a relationship. Commitment and duty to seeing that marriage through to the very end is what matters the most. You're not always gonna feel happy, right? Here's another comment in response to that guy that says, nah, it's just easier for them to move on to something new and more exciting. Until that wears off, they are back in the same boat. Another comment here from another person says, I left a good woman, this gentleman says, because of this exact same reason. After about 10 years, he says, I realized that leaving her and not working on me was the biggest mistake in my life. Plenty of women have realized this after divorce. A lot of them don't like admit, admitting it. You know, they probably watched this video and was like, Psh, I remember making that mistake. But here's a guy who's able to commit his mistake. Now the gentleman says, you learned the hard way, buddy. But at least you learned and won't make that mistake again. A few more comments here. Another person who says, just saying, if he's a good guy, honey, believe me, the grass ain't greener. Yes, yes, yes. It's the same women who have the nerve to come on TikTok, literally, crying their eyes out talking about never in my life did I think I'd be this age and uh can't find a man and I don't know if I'll settle or not but you know it's not looking good and you get surprised why in the comment section men are kind of sitting there like <laughs> good luck here's another comment from another chick who says being happy in a relationship is a choice you make and work towards every day you choose to love the person and work through the conflict and fix it another gentleman here added so we're not doing to whole till death do a part commitment this because we're bored somebody else responded back to that guy and says correct relationships are only at risk when the woman is unhappy that's when you um are at risk here's another comment from another man that says so if you have a good woman but you really want a younger more fit partner to really help you be you that's fine right yeah that's the that's the encouragement that it seems like uh, people want uh, other people to give today. Completely insane. You got to be careful, man. You can't blindly just walk into marriage. Today. You can't blindly enter into relationships. You can't blindly cohabitate. You have to first understand if it's worth it for you. That's the first thing. Like, what do you, what do you truly want? Is there a way to get what you want out of life? Maybe without even getting married. And again, I, I'm, I'm careful to not lead people in any ways. But if you do want to get married, what type of mindset does the person have who you considering for marriage? Is she one of these modern deluded women or is she somebody with some common sense, you know, and protect yourself. Don't rely on what you see or what you hear or care, even a character. I hate to say it. That should be taken into consideration, but you can't leave it up to chance when things are at the state they are at today. Guys, listen, as always, I'm curious to know what you think. Comment down below. Get your fast, not slow hoodies in the shop. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.